And this morning, for the first time since that testimony, the president himself is responding to James Comey, and he's doing it, where else, on Twitter, writing today, despite so many false statements and lies, total and complete vindication, adding, and wow, Comey is a leaker. The president picking out the parts he prefers from Comey's testimony, but implying much of the rest of what Comey said under oath wasn't true. We will hear from the president in person later today in the Rose Garden, where he's set to hold a news conference and likely try to take a kind of victory lap. This morning, Team Trump arguing James Comey didn't deliver a knockout blow after his pull no punches testimony. Those were lies, plain and simple. That pushback coming against the president's claims Comey was fired partly because of low morale at the FBI. I know I was fired because of something about the way I was conducting the Russia investigation, was in some way putting pressure on him, in some way irritating him, and he decided to fire me because of that. The president's son saying his father is ready to move on. And I think now that this is all passed, he can go back to doing what he promised he was going to do. The president not saying whether he believes Comey told the truth. Do you think he told the truth to the Senate? But his lawyer did. Zeroing in on Comey's claims, the president asked him to let Flynn go, referring to fired National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. The president never, in form or substance, directed or suggested that Mr. Comey stop investigating anyone the president also never told Mr. Comey, quote, I need loyalty. I expect loyalty. Flynn had no comment arriving in D.C. overnight, and the president had no comment online either Thursday, turning not to his Twitter followers, but his faith at a speech in Washington. Because as the Bible tells us, we know that the truth will prevail. But the truth is what Comey thinks the president has a problem with. I was honestly concerned that he might lie about the nature of our meeting, and so I thought it really important to document. Comey acknowledged during his tenure the president was not under investigation and that the president did not try to stop the FBI's Russia inquiry. Comey was less conclusive when it came to their conversation about Flynn. Do you sense that the president was trying to obstruct justice? That's a conclusion I'm sure the special counsel will work towards to try and understand what the intention was there and whether that's an offense. That an implicit confirmation the special counsel is looking into whether the president asked Comey to dial down an active investigation. A special counsel Comey hoped might be triggered by sharing his own written account of the Flynn conversation. I asked a friend of mine to share the content of the memo with a reporter. Didn't do it myself for a variety of reasons, but I asked him to because I thought that might prompt the appointment of a special counsel. The president's lawyer painting president Comey as a leaker vindicated. for that move made just days after the president tweeted about tapes of the conversation. Look, I, I've seen the tweet about tapes. Lordy, I hope there are tapes. Release all the tapes. I'm gotcha. good with it. It wasn't just the Trump administration in the spotlight. Here's Comey on former Attorney General Loretta Lynch asking him to call the Hillary Clinton inquiry a matter, not an investigation. We had an investigation open at the time, and so that gave me a queasy feeling. A person familiar with Lynch's thinking tells NBC News Comey never said at the time that he wasn't comfortable with the word matter, which Lynch used so as not to confirm or deny an investigation. The Senate Intelligence Committee expects top presidential advisor and the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, to meet with committee staffers this month. Two sources familiar with the planning are telling NBC News. The committee expects that Kushner will meet with staff, he'll provide documents, and ultimately take questions from the senators, the two sources said, although a third source says that the timing conversation is still ongoing. All of this, an indication that despite the president's claims he's been vindicated, the Russia investigation will remain front and center. Matt, Savannah. All right, Hallie Jackson, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.